guys, it's Anna. Bienvenido otra vez a mi canal. But if you are new here, then what's up? Wow, this is extra glittery by the minute. It's just getting kind of crazy. Another Snapchat filter here for another part of my declutter series. This is just, I look insane. All right, sorry, I had to change that because it was just too crazy looking. Another one of the declutter videos. This one is going to be my makeup powder setting powder drawer this one is gonna be a little bit less of a declutter I feel like and more of just like taking stuff out of the drawer to rearrange everything let's just get on into it because I have a lot of powders to go through I'm gonna see what drawers are what drawers which powders might be in other drawers and then we'll just get on into the declutter here is the powder drawer before I'm total mess and I know there's like setting powders in other drawers this is all of my powders it looks so crazy but I will say it looks crazier because I have a lot Lot of backup stuff and like travel stuff but I did have everything that I was organizing in this like acrylic organizer I'm pretty sure you can find similar ones probably in like an office section but I think I ended up getting this one from maybe Bed Bath & Beyond or was TJ Maxx I'm gonna start first with like obvious ones that I just want to move out of the way and I feel like getting them out of the way anyways is gonna take up or like free up a ton of space in general in the drawers and right here Ben Nye stuff first this is the Ben Nye pretty pink translucent face powder it's super this drawer is like like a mess too there's like powder everywhere this is the ginormous tub of it that I got for only like $18 at the actor's attic in Dover Delaware Ben Nye is like a holy grail powder for me I like can't run out of it I want the banana powder in a tub like this also my dreams would be done come true you know makeup dreams I'm gonna move that and put this in my backup drawer or wherever I put my backup stuff some more backups Ben Nye powders in just different colors so the rose petal this one is banana and this one is the neutral set so just the white these are backups. I use them to refill other containers. So I'm going to kind of move this out of the way too. I don't know where I'm storing backups yet. Let's just go through and find all the Ben Nye if I can do that. Here's the actual containers that they're in. I got them in the sifter containers because they're just a lot easier to use this way. Obviously, I think I have one of each or at least I maybe should. This is the banana. Here is another one. This one is for the rose petal and then I just refill it with the little containers, you know. Is that all that I have for these ones? Um, so there's these. Obviously I'm keeping these and these are going to stay in the drawer. Sorry about the lighting. It's getting kind of dark outside. Let me see if I can turn a light on and see if it helps a little. I made it really yellow, huh? But okay, I'm trying. Some more Ben Nye. It's kind of hard because some of it I have in like other containers. Like these bare mineral containers, most of them are actually Ben Nye and I just have them labeled on the bottom because they're easier to travel with if they're in these smaller containers. That's all the small ones. Okay, cool. Oh, I have two rose petal. Why did I do that? That's weird. These are just easier to travel with, like I said, because they're small little sifter containers. Is this one too? Is it small? Yeah. Why do I have two bananas and two rose petals. Okay, well I'm gonna have to change that. I'm gonna keep these, obviously. I'm just gonna keep one of each in the drawer and put them in my backup section or something. I don't know, cause that's annoying. So whichever one looks fuller, it's these two, and I'm gonna move these two to the side, but these are keeps. I guess it's just this one then. Another Bare Minerals container, but it's actually the Ben Nye, another banana. That's awesome. I think I'm gonna keep this in the drawer maybe too, just because it is larger. I keep the travel stuff kind of to the back is what I'm gonna do, so this is a keep container. This is the RCMA Makeup No Color Powder. It's a large container and it's super annoying to use, so I think I'd actually put some of this in a different container. At least I thought I did. Is that what this one is? I don't think so. You would think I'd be smart like that and put it in here. I'm gonna guess that that's what this is though. I need to label it but so I'm gonna put this in my backups and keep the other container. Kind of clean it off a little bit. This is the Elf High Definition Powder. This one's in the color Sheer so I'm pretty sure it's just a white yeah, I like never ever ever use this though. I'm actually gonna move this to backups because I might just use it for something else, the actual container. But yeah, for the most part I'm getting rid of this, but not because I'm keeping the container. But this is gonna be moved out of the drawer. So I guess I had a normal size one and like a smaller travel. I'm just gonna keep these I guess and maybe just get rid of the rest of the powder because I never really reach for this. But this is a declutter, so I should actually get rid of this powder, shouldn't I? I never use it. I'm gonna get rid of this powder. So I'm gonna pour it out, but I'm keeping the containers, okay? There we go. These ones are the, um, what is this even called? Our Beauty brand, the one by um, Drew Barrymore. These I got to try from Walmart. Um, I have every color that they have. They're just a translucent powder. I haven't really tried these really. I think I just mainly got them to add to the collection. These would be really cute on like a vanity. Oh my gosh, I just dropped everything. If I had a vanity, you know, I could just put these on there and it would look pretty, you know? 
like that. I'm gonna move them out of the drawer and maybe put them somewhere for like display. This is actually not Ben Nye. This is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder in Banana. I like it. Obviously, I like the Ben Nye better. I think this one is just a little too light. It's like more white based than yellow based, if that makes sense. So I never really use it. Gosh, I just don't want to throw it away. I think I might keep this to give away. My friend could probably use this. Some that are a no brainer that I'm definitely keeping. Two of the Marc Jacobs powders. The Perfection powder. I have them in different colors. So one is the Golden Fawn and one is just fawn. I love these. I got these from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, you know. I use these a lot. It has so much product in there. It's so crazy. And I've used that one especially a lot. This one I haven't used as much. This one might be the one that comes off the bottom. Yeah, it's not stuck on the bottom. These are definitely keeps. Bare Minerals one, I think was one that my mom had actually given me. The Touch Up Veil, it's got SPF 15 and it's in the color Tinted. I don't know, I just don't think it's really the best color for me and I never reach for it. Ugh, but Bare Minerals, I'm gonna put this to the side for now and think about it, but I'm pretty sure it's old so I should probably actually throw it away, but I'm gonna think about it. I have a few of these sitting around right now. These are the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I have two in the color Medium because that's the color that I actually use for like all over my face as a normal setting powder. I also have the light medium which I like to bake with because it is just a little bit lighter so it's a little bit more brightening. Are both of these, are all of these full? This one's full. It looks like this has a little bit left in there. I'm gonna put both of these in the drawer and I'm gonna put this away as a backup. This is the It Cosmetic Celebration Foundation in the color rich. This is one I think my mom had given me. I used this on top of a different color when I set my concealer on days where I'm not wearing foundation. So I'm gonna keep this. It's almost done anyway, so I'm just gonna finish it up and then get rid of it. They're actually too dark for me. These are the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the color warm. Like I said, they're too dark. I usually use these when my foundation's like too light. So I'm gonna keep this one in the drawer and then I'm gonna use Put this in away as a backup. They probably should just get rid of it though. Kind of just want to get rid of this. I never really reach for them. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna trash it. I think it's kind of old, anyways. Cool. Feel better about that. This is the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. So I don't know why it's in here. It's in the color warm. So I'm gonna keep this, but I'm gonna actually put this in the foundation. Oh no, where's the little sponge? These two Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the color 330. Toffee. I use this because I usually chop up the little bit of it and I repress it into a different container because that's how much I love this. But I started using the loose powder which is in the same exact color and I feel like for the price you're actually getting more product if you buy the loose powder. So I stopped buying these. Yeah, so I could probably actually just chuck these. I have the powder, so I'm just gonna throw these away. This is another definite keep. <laughs> I could kind of glean the packaging off. This is Burberry Cashmere Compact Flawless Matte foundation but I use it as a powder like a setting powder it's in the color light honey it's really light this again could be used you know for under eye brightening since it's lighter I wouldn't put this all over my face or if my foundation is a little too dark I could put this all over my face but this is a definite keeper got it from TJ Maxx or Marshalls the more keeps are these Becca ones the Becca perfect skin mineral powder foundation which again I use though as a setting powder I think these are both in different colors yeah, so these are different colors. This one's really dark. I should actually probably put it in a drawer for contouring, but I think for now I'll just leave it in this powder drawer just in case. This one, wow, this sticker is not even in there, so I don't know what color that is. That's awesome. This one is in the color Fawn. I got these both from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, keeping. This is like a newer one to my collection. This is the Kat Von D Pocket Setting Powder in Translucent. This had come with a set from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Oh, I didn't even... Did I know it had a little poof? That is so cute. And then it's got like a sifter. So this is an obvious keep. This is still new to my collection. These e.l.f. ones. It's kind of hard. I love e.l.f. stuff. But their powders and their skin stuff, they just don't do dark enough colors really. Which is kind of frustrating and annoying. But this is the finishing powder in the color medium dark. Let me see. And this is pretty dark actually now that I just said all of that, right? I'm going to keep this only because I haven't really used this. It should probably be used more as like a contour, maybe for like a day when I don't have foundation on. So I'm going to keep this and keep it in this drawer actually. And then I have the e.l.f. HD Mattifying Balm. This is supposed to be a thing where if you have a lot of shine, you would put the balm on and take the shine away. I just never really reach for it. I think that's going to disrupt my makeup. And I actually have two of these, so that's what this was, was a backup in case I did really like it. I just don't like the idea of that because I feel like it's going to mess up my foundation if I add this in. I don't think it's supposed to, but I'm pretty sure it's going to. I feel really bad. I'm going to, I think, 
throw both of them away. I might try to give this one to my friend and see if she likes it. This one is the Coty Airspun Loose Face Powder. This one, I think I have a few different colors, but this is just the translucent extra coverage. This is definitely a keep. This is one of Patrick Star's like holy grail products, I'm pretty sure. But this is a keep. I just hate how big and chunky the container is. And I'm pretty sure I have more or another one of this somewhere. I have to find where I have my other backup stored. It's so bad. But this is a keep. For elf powders, is I guess that's what we were on. This one right here is the Perfect Finish HD Powder in Clear. It's weird to say like that, but it's in just a white. Again, this is something I never really reach for, but I haven't tried this to see if it has flashback, um, but I don't think I've ever tried it at all, so I'm gonna keep it, give it a fair chance, you know? Another elf one is this one. The packaging is pretty cute. Um, it's in yellow, corrective yellow. I think this is supposed to be like a color correcting powder, but I was gonna use it as kind of like a uh, banana powder, but it's like super, super yellow. This one might be good for brightening. I don't think I've ever really tried it to give it a fair chance, which is why you could see it's like totally clean. So I'm gonna keep it, give it a try, you know? This is the Makeup Forever HD Powder. This is another one I've had forever and I've never really reached for it. I think it was like a sample thing. I do have some of it in that little travel thing, don't I, somewhere? Is it one of these that? Oh, this is the Cody Spun travel size for that, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm just gonna move it out of the way. That's so that I can travel with it instead of using that big container. I'm gonna get rid of this. I just, I've had it for so long and I just never throw it away. I think because it's Makeup Forever, so I just felt bad, but I never use it. I'm gonna get rid of it. This one I didn't notice. This is another Ben Nye in Pretty Pink. So I do have the travel versions. So I'm gonna move that. That's a keep, obviously. These are some more of the Shot Miss A powders. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Pressed Powder in two different colors because I didn't know which color was gonna be best for me. So I have honey and I have toffee. These, again, I do really like. These I used in that video using all the makeup that was only like a dollar. I'm gonna keep these. I do really like them. Again, this one is probably a better contour color, especially for days where I don't have foundation, but I'm gonna keep it in this uh, drawer. This is a Bare Minerals, the original foundation in the color medium tan. I think this was like a little sample out of like some kind of other kit. I should keep this maybe, I guess. Yeah, this is probably like one or two uses for like a day where I don't really want to wear foundation or something, but I want to cover my skin and just buff this in and then it will be done. So I'm just going to keep this just to actually use it and then maybe get rid of it or keep the container and repurpose the container. This one is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. This I'm pretty sure I got as like some kind of, what's it called? Like a sample. I obviously haven't tried it yet because I haven't even opened it. It's like a sifter. So I'm going to keep this just to try it out since I haven't yet. It's going to be a keep. And the last products here, if I can wipe these off all dirty. Again, some more Shot Miss A. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. And this one is in the color Banana. I got this to see if I liked it, you know, and to replace or be like a dupe kind of for the luxury powder from Ben Nye. This one I do really, really like, but it's really soft powder and it's only like a dollar from Shot Miss A. So I'm just gonna keep this. It's nice too. I mean, why would I get rid of it? I do like it. Lastly, this product that is so dirty. This is a MAC product. Oh my gosh, it's so dirty. I think this is actually maybe empty. I don't even know exactly what it is. The sticker's gone. Oh, I think I repurposed the Maybelline stuff in here. <laughs> it looks so gross. Um, but this is gonna be a keep. If anything, I could back to MAC it, you know? I just need to clean it off because it looks so sad. But I'm pretty sure it's the Fit Me powder in here. And I just like reset it in there. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it. It looks so sad. So back to this Bare Minerals powder. I hate to do this, but I feel like it's old anyways. I could actually just give it to my friend. I'm sure she'll use it. So I'm just gonna keep it and give it to my friend. These are the only ones that I'm giving away of my powders. But like I said from the beginning, that this drawer is probably just gonna be more of like moving backups out of the drawer. Yeah, these are the only few ones that I'm get getting rid of. And these are all the ones that I'm keeping. So I'm gonna have to organize them back in the drawer. So as you can see now, this drawer looks so much cleaner. So much more organized. Ooh, I feel so good about this. All right, so I did end up putting these in here actually though, just because they were space. I'm not going to wipe everything down yet. I'm going to do that when I actually full on make sure everything's organized the way that I like it. I just don't feel like doing it right now, but that's what this drawer looks like now. That's amazing. That's everything for this part of my declutter series, doing my powders and everything. Hope you guys are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you guys do that if you haven't yet. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more of my declutter series. Also, let me know in the comments if you guys have decluttered or found any new makeup powders that you really, really love. I would love to hear from you guys. Muchísimas gracias uh, for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.